I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find cross product and as you know cross product results into a vector which is perpendicular to both the vectors right the question here is given vector a equals to 1 2 3 and vector b equals to 2 minus 1 1 find a cross b and verify that it is perpendicular to both a and b right so that's the very basic question on cross product so let's try to understand so vector a is given to us as 1 2 3 vector b is 2 minus 1 1 we need to find a cross b right there are different ways to find it i use a matrix method so we have i, j, k. These are unit vectors. 1, 2, 3, 2, minus 1, 1, right? So we can say this is i times 2 times 1 is 2, minus and minus becomes 3, right? Minus j times 1 and 1, 1, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 6, plus k. 1 minus 1, if you multiply, you get minus 1. 2 times 2, take away 4, right? So we have 2 plus 3, 5i. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. It makes it plus 5j. These are unit vectors along x, y, z. Minus 5k. So that becomes a cross b, right? That's the vector. Now, the second part of this question is we have to verify that it is perpendicular to both, right? So, let me call this vector as C, right? Call this vector C. So, let's say C is equals to A cross B. So, now we'll verify. That is to say, perpendicular means vector C dot A should be equal to 0. Is it okay? So, let's verify. So vector C is 5, 5, minus 5, dot A is 1, 2, 3. And that is 5 times 1 is 5, plus 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15 with a negative sign. That indeed is 0, right? Similarly, let's find what is C dot B equal to. Is it equal to 0 or not, right? So we have... 5, 5, minus 5, dot, 2, minus 1, 1, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times minus 1, minus 5, minus 5 times minus 1, minus 5, this is also 0, right? Since their dot products are 0, they are perpendicular, right? So that's the whole idea. So whenever you do a cross product, it results into a vector, so if I have a vector like this A, and let's say the vector B, then the result is always like perpendicular, is it okay, to both of these vectors, both of these vectors. And that's what we verified just now, right? So I hope that helps. So whenever you do cross product, you get a vector which is perpendicular to the plane defined by the vectors A and B. I'm Anil Kumar. I hope you appreciate it. You can place some likes and share my videos with your friends. Thank you.